but I know that, you know, put me, you put me in the ring with someone who's on the same level or level above, I rise and rise and rise. You know, that's the reason why I want these big fights to see, you know, sink or swim. Can I, can I raise to where I think I can raise to? Because if I can, then I know I've got the beating of all of them. You know, Callum Smith, people look at him and he would be favourite going into the fight. Um, he's a great fighter. A lot of respect for Callum. You know, Smith brothers, great boxing family. But I, I generally believe I've got the beating of Callum Smith and any other super middleweight in the division. Talking about another, someone that doesn't quite have the resume of Callum Smith or the belts, Chris Eubank Jr. Still a big domestic fight. And I know one that we have talked about in the past, one that still whets the appetite of British fight fans. I know you beat him previously. Uh, yeah, for me, he's he's um, he's a world class bum, really. Because without being disrespectful, if I couldn't beat him, then I'd never put on a pair of gloves again. Because um, you know he's boxing IQ, everything like that. He's fit and strong. That's it. You know he stepped up against Groves, and Groves have you know passed it really. You know he retired a fight, a fight after. I think that's um, the Eubank fight. You know it's a fight that obviously I wouldn't entertain. You know, the only gain I'm going to get out of that is financial. Anything else, I'll beat him with my eyes closed. Um, I don't really rate him. I don't put him in top. I wouldn't put him in the top five, six in England. Definitely not.